And so the next chapter, chapter 17, begins, You must create a female for me. This is what the monster wants. And then, um, you know, Victor says, so I create another one of you. So, uh, you know, you're, there's two of you to create wickedness. And the creature says, I am malicious because I am miserable. And, and he also says to Victor, you would not call it murder if you could precipitate me into one of those ice rifts and destroy my frame for the work of your own. Uh, the work of your own hands, shall I respect man whom he condemns me. So he wants um, Victor to make a woman for him. And he makes some pretty logical um, arguments for that. He says, oh, my creator, make me happy. And Victor says, I was moved for the first time we see Victor feel some kind of emotion uh, other than hatred for his creature. And he says, I shuddered when I thought of the possible consequences of my consent, but I felt there was some justice in his argument. And I did, not, not, did I not as his maker owe him all the portion of happiness that was in my power to bestow? And so... Um, Victor feels some compassion for the first time and feels some responsibility. At this point, I start thinking, hey, there's hope for Victor. But he's afraid that it will be twice as much, twice as much danger. And he says, um, because the, the creature says, we'll go to South America. We'll, we'll leave here. We'll go to South America. Hey, we eat fruits and nuts. We're not going to you know, go around killing people just for the heck of it. But Victor says, um, you will return and again seek their kindness and you will meet with their detestations. Your evil passions will be removed and then you will have a companion to aid you in the task of destruction. And the creature says to him, how inconstant are your feelings? But a moment ago you were moved by my representations and why do you again harden yourself to my complaints? So it is also again the duality. And that inconsistency of humans that they can great, make great things, but yet they are so selfish and so mean. That also is probably or maybe an allusion to uh, in the Hebrew scriptures when uh, Moses is trying to leave Egypt and the Pharaoh says go. And then in, in those scriptures it says, but God hardened Pharaoh's heart and he sent his army out against him. So Victor is being rather godlike here. In, in a way, in his uh, ability and his capriciousness over whether he's going to help his creatures. And so, Victor's thinking about it, and uh, the creature says, you know, if you don't do this, I'm going to curse you with my dying breath, and I'd rather not do that. So the creature's quite not gone beyond... Um, the realm of, of not being able to be drawn back in. And he says, if you grant my prayer, you will not see me again. And, and Victor has been, you know, waxing eloquent earlier about uh, nature, says, oh, stars and clouds and winds, you're all about to mock me. If you really pity me, crest sensation and memory, let me become as not. But if not, depart, depart. And leave me in darkness. Again, unable or unwilling to take responsibility for his actions. He wants to escape all of this by just becoming not. So why doesn't he kill himself? Well, we don't really uh, know. We just know that he doesn't. But of course, if he killed himself, that would be the end of the story, wouldn't it? Now... I'm going to stop there. I can't, I can't quite remember if I had uh, assigned chapter 18 for uh, this part of the module or not, but I'm going to stop there because that is the end of his association or his meeting with the creature. And so we'll take up with uh, what comes after that in the next part. And if you've read it, you already know, but we'll, we'll get to it.